In this video, I'd like to demonstrate how we can focus a stretch that is done for the functional group of musculature on the right posterior side of the neck to focus it and discern between the upper trapezius, the levator scapulae, and the splenius capitis. And we're always looking with a stretch to make a muscle longer, which means we're going to do the opposite of the concentric shortening functions, the joint actions of that muscle. So let's begin for the right upper trap. Please take your right hand and hold on to the side of the bench. This will hold her shoulder girdle, her scapula down, which is important since the upper trap attaches onto the shoulder girdle here. And all of these muscles are in back. So for all of them, we need flexion in the sagittal plane because they're extensors, opposite. They're all on the right side, so they all do right lateral flexion, opposite. We will need left lateral flexion. For the right upper trap, because the upper trapezius is a contralateral opposite side rotator, the right upper trap does left rotation, so we need right rotation. Demonstrating this for a self-care stretch for the client, please take your left hand, come up and over the top of your head, and now pull your head and neck forward and down to the left. This is the ideal stretch for the right upper trap. Sagittal plane flexion, frontal plane left lateral flexion, transverse plane right rotation. Come on back up. Now let's look at right side levator scapulae. Again, the other attachment is on the scapula. She needs to stabilize with her hand holding on to the side of the bench. Right side levator scapulae does extension. We need flexion in the sagittal plane. It does right lateral flexion, so we need left lateral flexion in the frontal plane. But now the difference for right levator scapulae compared to right upper trap is that the levator scapulae is an ipsilateral rotator, so the right levator scapulae does right rotation, so we need the opposite the left rotation. Now please take your left hand, come up and over the top of your head, and pull your head and neck down to the left again, and I can even see the levator scapulae being pulled taut here. This is the optimal stretch, the ideal stretch for the right side levator scapulae. The difference between this and right upper trap is the rotation. She's in left rotation here. For the right upper trap, she was in right rotation. Come on back to a neutral posture. Now let's look at splenius capitis. Now for a moment, we're going to leave your hand here. Let's start with the position of the neck. Right side splenius capitis. Being in back does extension. We need sagittal plane flexion, same as everything else. Right side splenius capitis does right lateral flexion, so we need left lateral flexion, again, the same as everything else. The splenius capitis, like the levator scapulae, is an ipsilateral rotator, so right splenius capitis does right rotation, so we need left rotation. Please take your left hand, go up over onto the top of your head and pull your head and neck down to the left. Now this is the same posture for the head and neck as the right side levator scapulae stretch. So how can we discern between levator scapulae and splenius capitis for this stretch? How can we focus the stretch to the splenius capitis on the right side? Well, the splenius capitis, the inferior attachment is on the spine. It does not attach onto the scapula. Therefore, what we're going to do is take this hand away, and we can let the scapula elevate when she pulls the head and neck down to the left in front. And if the shoulder girdle on the right elevates, the levator scapulae is slackened. And in fact, I don't see it being stretched very much here. And that means the stretch will be focused more toward the splenius capitis on the right. Come on back to neutral posture. So whenever we have a functional group of musculature, and here it was the right side posterior quadrant of the neck, the cervical cranial region. If we want to focus a stretch to one muscle in that functional group versus another versus another, we have to find a 
difference between each of those muscles joint actions. For upper trap and levator scapulae, the difference was the rotation of the head and neck. For levator scapulae versus splenius capitis, the difference was the positioning of the scapula, the shoulder girdle. So we can critically think, we can creatively employ how we do our hands-on movement skill sets here. This has been a video for discerning between upper trap, levator scapulae, and splenius capitis for a stretch. Thank you.